Hello, dear students. Today, let's read the poem The Kitten at Play of Class 4. This video is for the students of Class 4 English. The poem The Kitten at Play is written by William Wordsworth. And, uh, let's read the poem today. I'll explain it line wise. And you are requested to go through the poem and follow the words. Let's begin. See the kitten on the wall sporting with the leaves that fall. Withered leaves, one, two, and three, falling from the elder tree. Through the calm and frosty air of this morning, bright and fair. See the kitten, how she starts, crouches, stretches, paws, and darts. With a tiger leaf halfway, now she meets the coming prey. Let's it go as fast and then has it in her power again. Now she works with three and four, like an Indian conjurer. Quick as he in feats of art, gracefully she plays her part. Yet were gazing thousands there, what would little Tabby care? Now read along with me. See the kitten on the wall. Sporting with the leaves that fall. Wither leaves one, two and three. Falling from the elder tree. Through the calm and frosty air. Of this morning bright and fair. See the kitten how she starts. Crouches, stretches, paws and darts. With a tiger leaf halfway. Now she meets the coming prey. Let's it go as fast and then has it in her power again. Now she works with three and four like an Indian conjurer. Quick as he in feats of art Gracefully she plays her part. Yet were gazing thousands there. What would little Tabby care? Okay students, this poem is about Tabby. Tabby is the name of a little kitten. I think you know kitten. The young one of a cat is called a kitten. In this poem, the poet says, that the kitten is playing on the wall with the leaves. The leaves were falling from the elder tree. Elder is the name of a tree. It's a kind of a tree from where the leaves were falling down and the kitten was playing with the leaves. And it was winter season. That's why it was calm and frosty. The air was calm and frosty. And the morning was bright and fair. See the kitten how she starts, crouches, stretches, paws and darts. These lines mean you have to look at the kitten how she is starting, how she is playing. Sometimes she is crouching. Crouching means, I think you know crouching. The way uh, animals move, <clears throat> bending their legs, this, that is called crouching. Stretches, stretches like when we jump, we stretch ourselves. Paws and darts. Paws means when the when the uh, kitten tries to catch the leaves with with her paws, with her you can say the legs. That's called paws and darts. And like the kitten is playing with the leaves like a tiger. She leaps up. She leaps up. She jumps like a tiger. Halfway she catches the leaves. And as if the leaf, as if the leaves are her prey, she catches the leaves as if the the leaves were her prey. 
and then again she catches her catches the leaves in her hand again she lets it, lets it go that way she was playing and after some time you could see the kitten she was earlier she was uh, catching two or three leaves now she is catching three and four leaves now and now the cat the little kitten is compared with the indian conjurer conjurer means magician the person who performs magical tricks or magical arts they are called magicians like an indian conjurer the kitten is compared with the indian conjurer and she is playing with three or four leaves now and the way the indian conjurer as is very fast in his feats of art or feats of art or in his tricks the indian conjurer or the indian magician he does his uh, uh, art or his magic tricks very quickly say so in the same way the kitten was also very quick in her art also in her playing gracefully she plays her part gracefully means beautifully the kitten is playing her part also very beautifully yet we were gazing thousands there and she did not care that how, how many people were watching her thousands of people were watching her gazing means watching thousands of people were gazing gazing her thousands of people were gazing her but little tabby did not care anyone she just was playing with the leaves on her own and she was lost in her own world so this was the poem the kitten at play dear students if you have any questions if you don't understand anything if you don't understand any line or any word you can call me directly thank you